Who will be the next person to lead the United States Soccer Federation? That is a big question. Here are a list of the candidates that have thrown their hats in the ring. And I've got the latest one with me. She's also the only woman who has thrown her hat in the ring. Kathy Carter. Kathy, thank you so much for joining here. Now, we know that jobs like these can be very powerful, but also very unforgiving. So why did yeah. you want to be a part of this? Why did you want to run? Well, thanks. Uh, you know, I, I got into this. First of all, I grew up playing the game. I have uh, played at every single level, uh, from the youth through all the way to youth national teams to college, uh, the adult leagues throughout the country. Uh, but for the last 25 years, I've actually worked in the game professionally. I've worked uh, for the organizing committee in 1994 for the World Cup. Uh, I also then have, uh, was a founder of Major League Soccer uh, and then have worked in the game uh, my entire professional career. Uh, so I want to get into this because this game has given me everything. And let's be honest, it's not often that you can give an impact and have an impact on something that's given you everything. All right, well, of course we know that you have a lot of experience mm -hmm. both on the field and off the field, but there is a criticism that some have that they would prefer someone who played at the highest professional level, a former player, whether recent or past. What do you say to those people? Well, this is a role that actually is about vision and about leadership. Uh, and we're at a time of change. So I believe that you need to have professional players. You need to have people that have technical expertise. They need to be about a, a part of the process. But as it relates to leading the Federation and actually working with the board of directors, working with the actual staff at, at U.S. Soccer, uh, to take this game to the next level, I think it really takes somebody who understands the game on all sides, not just on one side. All right. Well, let's be get to the matter of the fact now yeah. we are here and a change yeah. has been called because of the fact that the usa unfortunately didn't make it yeah. to the next world cup but how much does it matter who the president is when it comes down to the on-field performances from these mm -hmm. players well i believe that the role of president is actually to set the vision for the federation and for the sport in this country and it's a very complex organization only one piece of what the Federation does is actually work, manage the national teams. And while I believe that we have to get to a place where we are dominant or continue our dominance, uh, because let's not forget that our women are the best in the world, uh, we have to be in a position where we continue to elevate and, and create dominant programs. And that doesn't just mean our national teams that recently didn't qualify for uh, the World Cup in Russia or the women. There's a lot of different teams that we represent. Um, but ultimately, it's about getting better as a collective. And that means everything from kids who play at the grassroots to referees to coaches. It's a, there's a myriad of constituents that are a part of U.S. soccer. The piece that we see and that we actually as fans wear the crest over our heart and sing and chant, uh, that's the part that is most vocal at the moment, which, by the way, I agree with. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of evolution for us to actually be able to fulfill our vision, which is really to make this game the greatest game in this country. Well, you mentioned some of the things, of course, like improving things at the grassroots level, sure. because this is not just all about the U.S. men's national team and their failure to qualify for the next World Cup. So what are some of the other things that you really want to tackle and see a change in? Well, I think we've got to continue to empower our grassroots uh, because today they're the ones that are bringing kids all the way. They're bringing them into the funnel. Uh, a kid at, like me, when I was a kid at seven years old, I didn't know what soccer was at that point. I went out to play with my friends. So how do we bring kids into the system? How do we keep them in the system? We have a real challenge today uh, that we have kids that at 12 and 13 years old that are leaving the system. So how do we keep them in so that they are actually a part of the, the society, if you will, not just potentially as professional and national team players, but also just as fans, people who have, mm -hmm. have gotten their start, so to speak, as people in this game. I think that's something that I certainly was a beneficiary of, and I would like to see a lot more kids have that opportunity as well. Well, again, I mentioned it at the top. You are the only woman to have thrown her hat in the race, and that mm -hmm. is great to see, of course. And one of the things that many have spoken about that they would like to see a change right. in is more women in administrative roles. Is right. this something that you plan to tackle as well if you do end up with this position? Well, I think it's obviously it's female, uh, it's women, but it's diversity. Um, and our game actually represents what is great about our country, which is obviously the diversity uh, of all different types of people, all different walks of life, all different socioeconomic opportunities. So, yeah, I think we as an organization and as a federation, we need to continue to pro provide opportunities for more people to come into this game, more diverse candidates. 
I do believe, though, if I am elected as the, the first female president of U.S. Soccer Federation, it will serve sort of as a, as a great leadership role model um, for young girls that are, who are out there today thinking that they want to play and can emulate players now, but also then emulate great executives and great leaders. Uh, so that would be a, an unbelievable byproduct, but shouldn't take away from the fact that at the end of the day, I believe I am absolutely the most qualified in this race. Well, we know that the U.S. soccer scene has definitely given us a lot of heroes to look after, yeah. especially from the top level on the field and off the field. We mm -hmm. wish you all the best, Kathy Carter. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, you can get more from Kathy Carter. Just head on over to our website at ESPNFC.com. She'll be taking some of your questions yeah. on the podcast as well as ESPNFC at a very special time on Friday, 4 p.m. We'll be looking ahead to the big one, MLS Cup, the final 4 p.m. Eastern Time, ESPN2, or stream it on the ESPN app.